Hello students I hope you are all fine and in good health in this audio presentation I had selected few important questions from the chapter birth that recently I had completed explanation from the text uh, so uh, I will explain a few question answers related with uh, birth so look at the very first question dear students what did the elderly midwife think of the young doctor that means what does the local nurse that is the elderly midwife he thought of andrew what what was her impression regarding this young doctor andrew mention so what should be the answer related to this or how can we proceed the midwife in the story remains doubtful about the young doctor's success throughout the story because as we go throughout the story we found out that the midwife he uh, she was not exactly very much confident about andrew uh, she thought that probably andrew was not experienced enough andrew was not capable enough of this delicate uh, delivery case but she turned out to be wrong because andrew became very determined and courageous and finally it was because of andrew's persistent dedication in saving the life of the child there lies the real real importance of the story that is the reason i told you previously also dear students that it is not only related with the birth of a child but it is also related with the birth of a doctor she was skeptic means very much critical she never had a very good point of view about modern medicine in her mind she was very much critical about modern medicine she was skeptic about modern medicine on one side and quite worried about the growing demand for modern doctors in front of her eyes because she was a bit backdated so modern medicine modern medical technology modern educated doctors uh, she was skeptic regarding all these things she never had a high opinion about andrew also and the techniques that was been followed by andrew later also when andrew was almost frantic and almost desperate to save the life of the child uh, she was always very critical of the motives of andrew though later she realized that andrew was very much courageous and was very determined from the very beginning in order to save not only the life of susan morgan but also the life of the child so i continue she was quite experienced and not ready to accept a change now i told you that she was a bit backdated she never ever was very interested to accept the change at all she used to follow the old school techniques and methods but modern medicine had upgraded a lot and she was not in favor of that she was not in favor of new age doctors she was not in favor of modern medicines okay because uh, she was a follower of the old school techniques her act of placing the stillborn that is the baby initially when the baby was born the baby was lifeless as you all know by this time so her act of placing the stillborn under the cot or we can say under the bed among the sodden newspapers or old kept newspapers cements this suspicion about her character now this is this is exactly what actually happened because uh, she put the stillborn child because it was been considered by her that the child is almost dead the child was born lifeless so she put the child under the bed among the old sodden newspapers this act on her part actually shows that she was a suspicious character and she never ever supported the evolution and advancement that is possible because of many discoveries in the field of medical science because she was from a old school and her ideology despite she was a male wife experienced one her ideology was completely backdated so i repeat 
her act of placing the steel bond under the cot cements this suspicion about her character she was indirectly establishing the failure of modern medicine by doing so now she was she haven't cooperated to that extent with andrew as we can see from the very beginning of the chapter now her act her irrational act uh, indirectly establishes the failure of modern medicine by doing so if she would have acted rationally then andrew would have got enough confidence but it seems that andrew drained out all his energy uh, but successfully saved the life of the child that made her cry later and later at the very end that is the good thing that later at the very end she got that trust in andrew she she went on trusting andrew and she realized that andrew was the right person okay but at the very beginning she was not very much supportive rather it can be said that she was very much critical regarding modern medicine now dear students i am moving on to the next question it's a quotation line i am reading out the quotation and here i quote i will not come in he said and his voice showed signs of strain strain you can say or stress but man i know he will do well for us name the speaker why is the speaker not intending to in okay now we know what is the name of the speaker it's actually a line from the text sometimes it will be given to you like this a quoted expression will be given you have to name the speaker and also you have to elaborately explain the context the context of this particular dialogue or expression so obviously you know by this time joe morgan the miner is the speaker or we can say he was a driller also joe morgan a highly anxious husband of the woman who was about to give birth after 20 years of waiting is not prepared to see his wife labor so he is not intending to go in with the doctor because he loved his wife so much and it's a critical very much critical delivery case because his wife susan morgan she is about to give birth to a child almost after 20 years of uh, married life so it was a very very delicate case and obviously the child labor pain that his wife is suffering from it was unbearable on his part because he loved his wife so much and that was the reason he was bit anxious or rather to say joe morgan was a bit nervous also so he wanted andrew to get inside and he decided to be outside uh, moving from one end to the other near the courtyard or near the porch of his house so now dear students i am moving on to the third question c what did susan what for did susan's mother offer to make a cup of tea for doctor mansion what was the real reason why susan morgan's 70 year old mother that i referred at septuagenarian now why she decided to offer a cup of tea to doctor mansion what was the reason for that susan's mother was apprehensive she feared that doctor mansion would leave upon an excuse and would not return seeing that the case was complicated now she thought or rather she realized that one way to hold him back one way by which andrew can be stayed back in the house obviously if i prepare a cup of very warm tea and if i serve him then obviously it will take a lot of time for andrew to drink that hot tea by that time andrew can stay inside the house and that was actually his her plan she wanted to buy some time she wanted andrew uh, to be in the house so in order to uh, hold him back in the house she decided to prepare a warm cup of tea 
very warm cup of tea that will take a lot of time for Andrew to sip or to drink. So see this, I repeat, Susan's mother was apprehensive. She feared that Dr. Mansion would leave upon an excuse and would not return, seeing that the case was highly complicated. To keep the doctor at home, she offered a cup of tea, and when she got it made, the tea was extremely hot, as I told you all, to keep the doctor cooling it for long. And when the cooling process will be started, on behalf of Andrew, when Andrew himself will start the cooling process because he need to cool it a bit to drink it or sip it, then obviously by that time uh, some time will be taken by Andrew and that is what the 70 year old mother of Susan Morgan actually wanted to happen. That uh, he wanted Andrew to stay back, he wanted Andrew to hold back as much as she can. Because she had a gut feeling that probably this case is so complicated that Andrew would leave the case midway and Andrew would have moved out of the house. But you remember all, dear students, that Andrew's famous dialogue, don't fret mother, I won't run away. That means don't be frightened mother, I won't leave the case incomplete, I won't run away from this particular delivery case. That shows that despite Andrew was a new doctor, newly recruited one who had started his career as a young doctor working under uh, Dr. Edward Page, but he was no less short of confidence or determination. So I repeat, to keep the doctor at home, she offered a cup of tea and when she got it made, the tea was extremely hot to keep the doctor cooling it for long. Okay, dear students, uh, there are two or rather three more, two more questions or three more questions. I have explained up to question number three, four, five and six are still there. In my next audio presentation, I will explain the remaining three questions. Till then, please check out the three questions that I, that I had explained and if there is any doubt, do let me know. Thank you students. Thank you all.